Oh, I think art is a very valuable part of life. I think art is extremely important. In its purest form, it is very much just a form of expression. Well, there's just things that you can't say with, with language. I think a piece of art or photograph can convey what words can't. Art is the great communicator between all languages. The arts help increase people's creativity. It helps them think in more creative ways. Before paint touches the canvas or a mound of clay takes shape, most artists launch the creative process with quiet contemplation. Depending on the piece, it may only take minutes to define a direction. Other artwork can take days, even years to develop. In the case of a Weber State University masterpiece, it's been more than two decades in the making. William Kimball and his sister, Barbara Kimball Browning, wanted to share the joy their mother found in art. Named in her memory, the Ethel Wattis Kimball Visual Arts Center will celebrate a woman who saw the world through artists' eyes. My mother loved to paint, and she did a lot of it, and we were always looking up to her. And she'd get us off to, to, to school, and then she'd pack her kit and go off. She loved to go out in Huntsville and out in the woods, and. She'd paint an old house or, or something like that, and she went to Weber part-time. She's always been very generous in, in her, with her time and money when she could be. And she's approving. I know she's up there saying, go! <laughs> she's a lot of enthusiasm, like my, my sister, what used to be the same way. So we ask if we would help support this new visual arts building. We were delighted to do so because we knew that this would please Elizabeth Stewart very much. She had been trained by her parents to be charitable, and uh, she loved to give. Elizabeth and Don Stewart loved the arts. I uh, definitely became interested to get something going, and so we decided that we would very much like to see it get started. Everybody has a desire to be a little bit of a builder, help uh, create, uh, a nice thing like we're going to have to be a part of it. The center will be a learning facility for aspiring artists and an attractive venue for art admirers. Classrooms and studios will soon have a central home in the George S. and Dolores Dory Eccles Educational Complex. Students will gather to hear visiting artists in the John A. and Talitha E. Linquist Hall and the Mark Evans and Lola B. Osted Lecture Hall. In addition to abundant workspace, the new center will offer the Mary Elizabeth D. Shaw Gallery, a 10,000 square foot space to host prestigious touring exhibitions, student and community shows. It was the vision and support of the people of Northern Utah that moved this project forward. I would say I'm very appreciative to the people who donated that they had the vision and the appreciation for art to put that effort forth and go the extra mile to support us. For the people who are donating to the building and to put it up there, I think it's a great leap of faith for them. I think sometimes they don't see the outcome or see the end stories, and that's what makes the donation so nice is that they don't see what's going on. They don't. Sometimes they don't understand the influence they have upon the students. I first found magic in a piece of chalk. When I was a little kid, my parents made one of the greatest investments ever. They bought me a big school chalkboard. My art career kept growing and growing until finally, I can't take the credit for it, but someone came up to me and said, Chad, what are you doing becoming a dentist? Why not do what you really love doing and pursue a career in art? You know, I've always been grateful to the professors at Weber State. Dale Briner uh, was a great friend of mine, and uh, he taught me how to do the research, how to go to the libraries, how to dig through the books, how to um, research other artists, perhaps, and use maybe some of their ideas. Um, he taught me a lot of those things, and a lot of those things that I now apply in my artwork. I do uh, mostly architectural landscapes. Uh, to, to see a brushstroke as a leaf versus a leaf the way they see it all the time, to see 
to see a building, a tree, a bush, uh, a beautiful landscape through someone else's eyes as an artist is much more interesting, I think, than just a, uh, a photograph as they see it every day. My first published piece was in 1989. About a year ago, I, I calculated that I'd sold over a million prints. I, I've always been interested in the mud. You know, when I, I grew up out in the country and I was always playing in the ditches and and I, I, I was just thinking about this the other day. It, a lot of times when I'm throwing, I, I kind of regress back to that six-year-old that has magic powers, you know, and I can make the earth move. The instructors are all top-notch. Arthur Adelman taught me how to see in color. And of course, Dave Cox. Um, without his encouragement, I, I probably wouldn't still be doing this. You know, now I'm doing something I love, and I, I can work 18, 20 hours a day and not even notice. Oh, it's going to mean everything to the students at Weber State. They have, they'll have room to work in and all kinds of uh, facilities that they haven't had before. With this new building, we will have a facility that will equal the quality of the curriculum and the faculty that we currently have. Having a good working environment helps a lot. Having space to be able to expand and you know, spread out the tools you need so that you can reach them and not be crowded helps a lot. And plus new facilities, they're modern, they're updated, there's um, advances that they want to put in, so I think it'll be really exciting for everyone to be in a new building. I think you'll get more students, and the fact that you have such a diversity of art, I think it'll be very, very popular and very, very welcome. The Kimball Visual Arts Center will be located adjacent to the Val A. Browning Center for Performing Arts. This combination will create a premier fine arts complex. It will give the community a front door to the university. The campus really is a masterpiece and, and centerpiece for the community. Art in the community is extremely important. It's wonderful that you can say that you have access to a world-class ballet, symphony, and art. And it means a lot, and it's, you'd be surprised at how many make a decision on where to locate with those things in mind. I think it's important to any community to have uh, cultural arts uh, of the highest caliber because I believe it focuses people's attention and art in the visual form. Pretty much defines who we are as a, uh, as a people. It will be able to, to track traveling shows, traveling art across the country and that's very, very valuable. The people in, in, in Ogden and around, not just Ogden, will, will think of it as their treasure and they'll come, I hope, often. You bring in uh, artists of substantial uh, stature and background and it reflects clear through the community. I think that in the years to come you will see some great artists out of Weber State and it will be because of this new visual arts building. Behind the beauty of this building are the people who believe everyone should have the opportunity to experience something beautiful or meaningful. I would like to thank all the people who, who donated funds to make this building possible. hundred times thanks from everybody. Everyone's so appreciative of it. But we couldn't have had it without the donors' help to start it. So. I tell them that they are great for contributing money for our students to learn. There's a lot of ways to donate money nowadays. There's a lot of wonderful causes. And to put their financial support behind the arts, the visual arts specifically, um, they're saying that art is important. Because that's the best thing that you can do is to give to education and to help people um, decide what they're doing in their lives and making it easier and more possible for them. It will pay back to the community uh, many times over in the future. To those people who uh, have donated one dollar to a much larger amount, I would be, I would stand in line to tell them thanks. You try not to show it, but you, you, you feel like, oh, isn't this wonderful that, that we've been able to help start, maybe, not, not do too much, but just a little bit. Well, thank you for letting us do this. As I said earlier, it gives me a fuzzy feeling. <laughs>